My name is Mary Ann Schofield, and what I claim more than anything else is that I am a sister of mercy, and my spiritual tradition, tradition is Roman Catholicism. I actually live off campus. I live in Menlo Park, California, which is about a half an hour south of Mercy Center, where I work on the staff. And I've been very privileged to offer spiritual direction training. My actual practice of direction has been primarily Mercy Center or if I have done directed retreats at other parts of the country. But I've been very privileged to do the formation of directors. That's been my primary work for about 20 years. And I've been very privileged to have been invited to do this in many different countries. And so it's just enlarged my vision of the world, of the practice of cultures, and how the experience of God is so embedded in a culture, and how different the experience can be. It's basically the same, and yet it's different. And so, most recently, it was in Seoul, Korea, and just it was just a, it's just been fabulous. So I've been very blessed to do that, and now I'm back at our center. As I understand it from my many years of doing this work, I would say that <clears throat> spiritual direction is a process whereby someone who really wants to grow in their own life in God and maybe looking at how life experiences relate or don't relate in someone's experience to God and then have someone tend that experience and be there for them and help them to understand and claim the more that's in the experience that they weren't aware of when it happened. I think anyone could benefit by meeting regularly with a spiritual director if they really, really want to pay attention to their own growth in their own life. Just their growth as a human person, but how that is then related to God and how they can come to know God better, respond more fully to this God, claim those experiences more, and just that simple desire for the more that is of God. Anybody that has that could be greatly helped by the process. Absolutely, it's for you. And you don't have to pray even, or pray well, or feel that <clears throat> you know, you're not really close to God or living your life the way you'd want to. It's just a very simple process of coming and putting out what it is that you really want and most deeply desire and have somebody respond to that and help you to live more from what it is that you really want. So come as you are is what it's really about and at least try it, that's what I would say. If the process of spiritual direction is not related to peace and justice in our world, then I don't know what we're doing. If you are in regular direction and you are serious about wanting to grow in your own life in God, you will ultimately become a more peaceful person because God is peace. And that relationship with God works on your life and the God of peace makes you a more peaceful person, a more loving person, and it can't help but change our world. As you are changed, the world has changed, I believe. I believe that in young adults today, I think people in their late 20s and early 30s have a call to do this work. They may not know it, but I believe the call is there. And I think we have to do much more to bring that call out, to nurture it, to help them to believe that they can do this work for their peers. Because they're thirsty for this, for the more, and the more of life, the more of God. And sometimes they don't even know that they are. I mean, their peers are thirsty for that. And certainly God will call some people from that group to do this work. And I believe the call is already there. And we 
you have to believe it and call them to it and nurture them, believe in them, say you can do it. Um, and even though you're only 32 or 33, you can do this work. Of course you can, if you're prepared and you really believe you have a call to do it, that it's been confirmed. And uh, so I think we have to do a whole lot to, first of all, believe that the call is there and that God is not going to leave a group of people in their late 20s and early 30s or 40s to just kind of hang out until they get mature enough to be in the process called spiritual direction. I don't believe that at all. I just think that it's for everybody and I'm ready to do that <laughs> any way that I can to nurture them.